Hello everyone and welcome to Set 6, let's play Dragon Age Inquisition, my rogue playthrough. Now, I didn't do, well, I probably did a lot of things off screen, I don't remember, it's been a while since I last touched this game. Um, this set is going to be dedicated to the Winter Palace story arc, so let's go do it. Now, this is going to be pretty freaking interesting with all things considered, because Dantos is not going to be playing the game. <laughs> Uh, you'll see what I mean in a few minutes. So, let's go and get this uh, started. It's also probably going to be a very short set. Because I'm just going to be walking through everything. Not worrying about all the little details like I did last time. Now, just going straight from A to B. I have a lot of stuff I haven't touched yet. What the hell? What's this? Alright. Any word? Okay. I'll do that later. Yeah. Hopefully, I remember. We have to reach the Empress before Corypheus. The only question is, how? We know how. I have our way in. The real question is, where is our enemy hiding? At the urging of Grand Duchess Dorian, the Empress is holding a ball. Absolutely everyone will be there. During the festivities, Celine will be meeting for peace talks with the usurper Duke Gaspard and Ambassador Briala. The assassin must be hiding within one of these factions. We shouldn't waste any time. Let's go to the Winter Palace. This is not going to end well. <laughs> Alright, so, Varric, uh, Solus, and the Iron Ball. Okay, let's go. Yeah, it's the Iron Bull. As for, I just realized, I have not a single human actually joining me in this run. Oh, gods. This is going to be interesting. The uh, Orlesian court is very racist. Like, painfully so. You'll see. The political situation in Halamjiral hangs by a thread. The Empress fears our presence could sever it. The Grand Duke is only too happy to have us at the ball as his guest, so our invitation comes from him. Whether we act as his allies or upset the balance of power, he gains an opportunity, if not a clear advantage. So, you're Inquisitor Kadash. From the stories I heard, you are hewn from solid steel and carried a thousand daggers, bringing the Templars into your ranks. It was not just a brilliant military move, but a clever political ploy as well. Imagine what the Inquisition could accomplish with the full support of the rightful Emperor of Orlais. exactly what would be required to get that Imperial support. I am not a man who forgets his friends, Inquisitor. You help me, I'll help you. My lady, are you prepared to shock the court by walking into the Grand Ball with a hateful usurper? They will be telling stories of this into the next age. There's a Tevinter assassin on the loose, Gaspard. Finding him is my priority. Are you serious? That is a grave allegation, my friend. A foreign power meddling now, of all times? I have no doubt this Tevinta is hiding within the ranks of the Elven delegation. They're up to something. My people have found these ambassadors all over the fortifications. Sabotage seems the least of their crimes. If they're siding with the enemy, I'll put an end to it. Be as discreet as possible. I detest the game, but if we do not play it well, our enemies will make us look like villains. We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? If that's the Inquisitor. 
Inquisitor. Don't be an idiot. How could the herald of Andraste be a dwarf? Maybe it's just a servant. Okay, so yeah, as I just pointed out. <laughs> To Legion Nobility, a Dwarf Herald of Andraste is ridiculous. The court's view of you is dim for the moment. Basically, if you decide to ju if you decide to play this game <laughs> and make a character that's not human, this is going to be a little more difficult for you. Because we need a high court approval in order to get a specific ending uh, done that doesn't involve bloodshed. And, well, Thanatos gives literally no fucks about the Legion politics and their games, so we're getting a bloody end. Hooray! Uh, yeah. Basically, all you need to do is do things that will, uh, help the other people, or help the, um, uh, dignitaries, make yourself favorable to the Elysian courts, basically play the game and you get a high approval. Again, like I said, I give no fucks. Or she gives no fucks, so we're going to keep going. I'm just going to be getting, uh, a few things... Because I do need them for certain a aspects of our explorations. Such as these. Hollow statues are used to open uh, specific locked doors. So, they're good to have. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead. Jukes do. Went through, went through. There we are. Whoa. Okay. So there are three main what you'll want to get if you want to get the uh, best possible amount of EXP in this game. First is information for Liliana. Second is Caprice Coins. And third is the Hollow Statues. The information for um, Liliana you can get from two ways. One from items that you find laying around. And two, from uh, circles that we can overhear people from. Um, every single overhear circle you come across will have a piece of information. It doesn't guarantee you're going to get it at that time. So you have to run away and come back later. They refresh every time you go back into the uh, central hall, which you'll see in a few minutes. That gains us access to uh, a cutscene. So, yeah. Inquisitor, a moment if you please. I must warn you before you go inside. How you speak to the court is a matter of life and death. It is no simple matter of etiquette and protocol. Every word, every gesture is measured and evaluated for weakness. I'm not intimidated by stuffy or lesion nobles. These people burn cities as a diversionary tactic and assassinate one another as a feint. The game is like wicked grace played to the death. You must never reveal your guns. When you meet the Empress, the eyes of the entire court will be upon you. You are safer staring down Corypheus. It might be a good idea for the others to hear this warning. The bull in particular. I'll have a few discreet words. Everything will be fine. And Raste, watch over us all. Unfortunately for Josephine, uh, we're not doing that. She's going to have a lot of um, political uh, mopping up to do. So this should be interesting. Alright. Let's go over the vestibule. Fun. It's all pretty and shiny. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm actually curious about this back here. How has delirium trade dropped off so sharply? With so much fighting, demand should be higher than ever. My contact said there's a new supplier, but we can't track down who it might be. Carter members. So, kind of curious. I thought there would be a dialogue option, but apparently not. These are the overhear circles, by the way. Interesting. 
like I mentioned before, they sometimes will have stuff, most of the time they won't. You have to just go away and do something else for a second. Usually involves talking to someone or just um, uh, doing another over here circle. Okay, this is important. I mentioned this in every playthrough. This door transition is glitched. Um, as far as I can tell, what it is, is that there are two transition screens on here. One leads to the actual ballroom, the other leads into the uh, perpetual load screen. It's a glitch. I'm not sure how it came out. But basically, if you are too close to this door, when you hit X, it'll glitch. So basically, you want to sort of inch your way closer to it until you just see the X, then you press X. Otherwise, you'll be stuck in a perpetual load screen, and it sucks. And now presenting Grand Duke Gaspard de Chalon and accompanying him Lady Inquisitor Kadash. Shepherd and leash of the Wayward Order of Templars, purge of the heretics from the ranks of the faithful. Better fiction than I do. Champion of the Blessed and Grasse herself. <laughs> Did you see that face? Pretty. Accompanying the Inquisitor, renowned author, Varric Sethrit. Head of Noble House Sethrit, Desher of Kirkwall to the Dwarven Merchant Guild, the Iron Bull. Leader of the famed mercenary company Bull's Chargers, as the name might imply. The Lady Inquisitor's elven serving man, Solus, Sir Callum Stanton Rutherford of Pomley, commander of the forces of the Inquisition, former Knight Commander of Kirkwall, Lady Liliana, Nightingale of the Imperial Court, veteran of the Fifth Flight. Seneschal of the Inquisition and left hand of the Divine. And Lady Josephine Charette Montillier of Antiva City, Ambassador of the Inquisition. Cousin, my dear sister. Grand Duke, we are always honored when your presence graces our court. Don't waste my time with pleasantries, Selene. We have business to conclude. We will meet for the negotiations after we have seen to our other guests. Inquisitor? Lady Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. Someone here is working for Tevinter. To the uninitiated, the court is full of intrigues which might seem sinister, Inquisitor. But they are of little note. How do you find Halam Chiral? You're in danger. End the ball. Send everyone away. Inquisitor, we suspect that our court has overwhelmed you. You may benefit from a glass of wine and some time to recover. No doubt you will find something in the ballroom to entertain you. Inquisitor, a word when you have a moment. Like I said, Thantos does not like any of this court bullshit. <laughs> uh, so we can find a bull. Where are you at, buddy? Where was he at? Let's open the map so we can find him. Whoop. 
There's Josie, there's Colin. Oh, are you, Bull? Most of uh, your companions will actually be here in the main ballroom, so I'm kind of trying to find them. Mm. Oh well. Yeah, he's probably supposed to be over there if memory serves. We'll find out momentarily. Good. I was hoping it would catch you. What did the Duke say? He points the finger at Ambassador Briana. The Ambassador is up to something, but she can't be our focus. The best place to strike at Selene is from her side. Empress Selene is fascinated by mysticism. Foreseeing the future, speaking with the dead, that's all rubbish. She has an occult advisor, an apostate who charmed the Empress and key members of the court as if by magic. I've had dealings with her in the past. She is ruthless and capable of anything. You should have told me this in the war room. I didn't suspect her until we arrived. The last time I was at court, she was merely Celine's pet. No one cared for her. They just enjoyed the drama. Now she has secured powerful friends. It's a very abrupt change. She's worth investigating. Can't be sure of anything here. Both leads point toward the guest wing. It's a promising place to start. I'll coordinate with our spies to see if I can find anything better. I will be in the ballroom if you need me. All right then, thank you. Oh boy, I'm already at 15 out of 100. Kind of surprised with that. I thought I'd be uh, down a lot sooner. I do feel a little bad for Solus though. He's my uh. Elven hand made apparently. There's Bull. You got anything that needs killing? Because the nobles keep messing with me and they think I don't know they're doing it. This keeps up. I'm gonna wear somebody's skull as my fancy little mask. Look at this with the eyes of a Ben Hathrath and tell me what you see. It's a mess. Everyone's trying so hard to hide that they're walking around in plumage. Makes it tough to spot the dangerous line, as opposed to the normal stuff. Oh, but that couple over there with the silver mask? The woman's doing one of the nobles, and the guy's doing two different servants. What do you think of the masks the nobles are wearing? They're no good as disguises, and they don't cover the mouth or hide body language. So they're not much help for lying. As fashion goes, I don't know. I've seen dumber. Anything catching your eye? They've got these candy nuts with some kind of spice on them. It's sweet until you swallow, and then, bam, hot. Also, Orle has some fine-looking redheads. I go more for the servants, personally. Less makeup. Uh, nothing on the assassins. Talk to you later, Bull. I'll just stay here and eat. Yeah, you do that, buddy. Alright. Well, let's keep going. My lady! My lady Inquisitor! May we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. What's the message? <laughs> this is so exciting! Empress Selene is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in her holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. That's a generous offer. The Empress believes wholeheartedly that the Inquisition is our best hope for peace in these difficult times. She looks forward to cementing a formal alliance. As soon as Gaspar is out of the way. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor. Right, sure. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going then. Like I said, I'm not going to be actually dealing with any of the political bullshit that comes with this, uh, this whole thing. Alright. I should still have... Yep, I still have the hollow from earlier. 
I think if you just want to do the uh, one, uh, if you just want to do the necessary stuff to get through here as quick as possible, you only need to do uh, only need one hollow statue as for that. I should look around. The Caprice coins, by the way, are used for that fountain directly beneath us. You just throw them in, you get a little bit extra coin. You get one point per coin. Right. I will take these though. Right. You have to light these in a very specific order. There we are. Uh, this one, there it is. Confusion grenade recipe. Everything else is just randomized loot. Which I don't need to worry about. Over here. Lockpick. Uh, what have we got in here? Some toys. Not much, but some. Thing with wall in here. All right. Must well collect more stuff, you know. Well, I'll try to waste, waste the time out. With that, I have access to the upper, the upper uh, balcony. All right. Now I have no idea what to do. Chat. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Nope. Alright, so I need to do all that. Okay, fun shit! Alright. Stop being a bitch! I already got it, so. Hmm. And over here. Well, well. What's this? Someone dropped stuff. All right. Taking it back to the uh, ballroom now. Yeah, here the bell's going. If you actually wait for the second set of bells to start ringing, you get extra court approval. Because you're fashionably late, which is good apparently. I don't know. Hello. Well, well. What have we here? The leader of the new Inquisition. Fabled herald of the faith. Delivered from the grasp of the Fade by the hand of Blessed Andraste herself. What could bring such an exalted creature here to the Imperial Court, I wonder? Do even you know? I'm here on important business concerning the entire Empire. As am I, it seems. I am Morrigan. Some call me advisor to Empress Selene on matters of the arcane. You have been very busy this evening, hunting in every dark corner of the palace. Perhaps you and I hunt the same prey. I hope so. I could use another ally here. A sentiment I share, considering recent events. Recent events. Recently I found and killed an unwelcome guest within these very halls. An agent of Tevinter. So I offer you this, Inquisitor. 
a key found on Mr. Binter's body. Where it leads, I cannot say. Yet, if Selene is in danger, I cannot leave her side long enough to search. You can. Briala's people are whispering about disappearances in the servants' quarters. This key may lead there. The ambassador does have eyes and ears everywhere, does she not? Proceed with caution, Inquisitor. Enemies abound, and not all of them aligned with Tavinta. What comes next will be most exciting. Ah, oh, Morgan. She's so awesome. Okay, let's continue onwards. My best to everyone. Get over here. And there's the door we need to go to. Boop. This could be worth checking out. Could be, we'll see. Sorry, I'm a bit tired guys. I woke up not too long ago. I need to start recording this and uh, it's kinda late. I screw up my sleeping pattern, uh, recording and uploading, or recording ed and editing late at night. Ugh. But that'll have to be fixed momentarily as soon as I start up my classes again. Hooray for school! Okay then, time to equip people with my armor, with armors. Alright, redemption. There we go. Uh, yep. Okay, this is bull, so he has the two handed. Eric has Bianca. Solus has Deceptor. <laughs> Alright. Did I bring Dread with me? I did. Okay. Let's go! Must be the elves Briala's people are looking for. Ah, sorry, my eye. Alright, need to get up here. I hate doing this whole tightrope thing. Let's only get that hollow statue. As far as I know, at least. Alright, onwards! Okay, my abilities are. Oop. Let's take a look. Let's see here. Boop. Aim. Backflip. Explosion, mark for death, invisibility, and a thousand blades. Okay. It's big and shirt. Been well set played this or so. This was no servant. What was he doing here? Does this guy seem out of place to anyone else? That would appear to be Grand Duke Gaspard's insignia on the dagger. How curious. Time to have a word with the Duke. <laughs> I know you're an archer. You can shoot him. We have all of you. The Benatori were watching this approach. They're organized. Seems like it. Hey, let's continue onwards. This way. Rid of that ass hat. Oh. Fuck you! Snap the asshole from all, from all the way over here. Alright, we're good. And it seems like I have a. No, no, that's my uh, effect. I, I, I have a charged arrow. Charged arrow. Cool. Apparently not. Apartments. Don't need to worry about any of you assets. Alright. So far, we're just sneaking through everything. Alright, 
And to our left, you have a group. Fuck you. Goodbye. <laughs> I love that. This is uh, the Empress Selene's room. Um, if you want, you can go inside her personal study there. Her personal vault. And get something that you can use as uh, leverage. But, I'm not even doing that with this character. <laughs> like I said before, Thon gives no fucks about the game. You're not hiding, bitch. I'm literally only collecting the freaking uh, hollow statues. Because they may be useful later. Alright. Let me use that ability. I'm gonna use my explosion. Fancy meeting you here. Inquisitor Kadash. What an historic moment. The first Carter Sagin of Thedas invited to court. We haven't been properly introduced, have we? I'm Ambassador Briala. Impressive shot, Ambassador. Welcome to the Imperial Court, friend. This is our diplomacy at work. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinter blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? He was dead when I arrived. I expected as much. He may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a council emissary, bringing Tevinter assassins into the palace, those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. He can try, but I'll stop him. I wish you luck. Better than luck? I wish you success. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. I would consider such an alliance. We can help each other, Inquisitor. We are both outsiders here, after all. I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. Every single major player has tried to bribe you tonight. In Orlay, means you've officially arrived. <laughs> nice. Huh. <sighs> well, that's another. I can be. I can, they, they they think they can bribe her. They've yet to learn, though. You can't bribe her. And snipe in the back. Explosion! There we go! Backflip. Fuck you. 9 out of 100, fuck. I'm gonna have zero by the end. It'll be the first time I've done that. Basically, every time I've played this game uh, before... I've always gotten 100 out of 100. 